of Anthropology and History, the one in charge of all the archaeological sites we have in Mexico. So he was working in Belize, remember Belize is part of the Maya land, mm -hmm. and he wanted to fly to Cancun. So when he wa was flying, he noticed a lot of hills in this area, which is completely flat. So he knew there was something else. That's why he decided to arrive to Chacchoven town. And then he came here, he reported, he made the first mapping of the site, he made some drawings about how the structure used to look like, and then the people start to remove the dirt and the trees. So many rocks are falling down. So they need to clean the rocks, they need to write down a number in each rock to put in the place they think is the original one. So it's like a huge puzzle and a lot of work. So the people spend five years for the restoration of one structure. Could be five or seven. Okay, so uh, Peter Harrison arrived right here in 1972 and the people started with the restoration work in 1994. The area opened to the public in 2001. Same year, Costa Maya Port was open. That's why even the place is small, this is the closest one. That's why it's popular, okay? So when the rocks are falling down with the restoration work, uh, the archaeologists decide to put this line here. So this line is the restoration line given by the archaeologists to the structure. But this line is everywhere, in the staircases, a little bit higher or lower. So this is telling you that under the line, all the rocks that are here are 100% in the same place since ancient times. They didn't move. Up the line, the rocks that we have here are the rocks that fall down and they put in the place they think is the original one. So all the rocks in the structure are ancient rocks, but some of them fall down and the other ones not. That's why it's a restoration line in between them. Okay? So this is the nucleus of the structure or these rounded rocks and the nucleus of the structure uh, was covered with the flat rocks, with the better rocks. You see they are better than those ones. So on these uh, flat rocks, the people use a plaster that was called stucco to make it smooth and with colors. Remember, in this case, they use just color white and color red to make it smooth and beautiful. On the paintings, on the colors, they use a lot of uh, representation of different deities according with the architectural style. The architectural style we have in Chacchoven is called Petén. This is popular because if you take a look to the corner, it's a rounded corner and the shape of the bricks is not perfect. So if we go to Chichen Itza, that is in Yucatan or Campeche, the other size we have there, we're gonna see the shape of the bricks better, with better shape because it's other architectural style. The architectural style we have there could be Puk, Chenes or Rio Beck. So in the ones, once again, the bricks are perfect in shape. While here in the Petene style, it's just uh, not very beautiful because it's part of this style, okay? So that means that from the bottom to here, this is one layer, so that means that this wall was over here, covering this part of the structure. So we have one layer, the same happens in the second, in the third, and in the fourth. We have just four layers, okay? On top is flat, and on top was built the a smaller temple. The temple was made with wood and with Dutch roof. One meter for one meter, for one person at a time. The only people that were able to climb on top for the uh, offerings and for the worship were the priests or the rulers. The majority of the time, the priests. So if you notice, we have some staircases that are narrow and uh, uh, the first ones that we can take are wider. If they are wider, they were working as, as a bleachers because they were part of a plaza. Okay? The narrow ones, the purpose of them is when the priest was climbing, he was looking the steps to the top to show respect to the gods. So in a ceremonial center, we can find palaces, we can find temples, we can find ball game courts, we can find stelas, altars, residential areas. In the case of Chacchoven, we have just temples and a small residential area. And just one stela was found here. A stela is a carved stone that is the ancient Maya book. In the one, the people record all the information about the city. That's why in Chacchoven, we have few information because the archaeologists just uh, found one and it's illegible because the humidity destroyed all the carpet stone on it, okay? And the glyphs were uh, in syllables, so if we have just one part of the glyph, we don't have the complete meaning. So the way they used to read the glyph were from uh, left to right, top to bottom. That's why it's illegible, because we cannot read it, okay? So do you have any questions so far?